It was 11 o'clock of a spring night in Florida. It was Sunday. And any other night, Delia Jones would have been in bed. But she was a washroom. And Monday morning meant a great deal to her. So she would pick up the soil clothes on Saturday when she returned to clean things. The main night after church. And she would put the white things to soak. Then she squatted and she squatted. On the kitchen floor next to the great pile of clothes, sorting them into small keeps and humming, humming a song in such a joyful key. But wondering through it all where her husband Sykes had gone with her horse and what Just then. Sykes, oh, Sykes. Terror took hold of her. And then she saw. It was just the bull with her husband. <laughs> Time and again to keep them white folks' clothes out of this house. I ain't for no fuss tonight, Sykes. I just come from taking sacrament at the church house. Yeah, here you is just come from taking sacrament at the church house, but you gonna work on them white folks' clothes? You ain't nothing but a hypocrite. One of them amen corner Christians. Sing, hoop, and shout. Help me, Jesus. Have mercy, Lord. Help me, Lord. I don't care if you never get through. Anyhow, I done promised God and a couple of other men. I ain't gonna have it in my house. But this is not even don't give me no good people. Saints, you done gone too far. I'll start crawling out and put my kiss out your head to boot. I've been married to you for 15 years. And I've been taking and washing for 15 years. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Work and sweat, cry and sweat, and pray and sweat. What's that got to do with me? What's that got to do with you, Sykes? My tub says it's filled your belly and fiddles more times than your hands has filled it. My sweat is unpaid for this house, and I reckon I can keep on sweating in it. She sees the iron skillet in the stove, which got the fancy poles. And that snagged to the yellow woman running with me, coming here to pop up on my sweating blood. You ain't paid for nothing on this place. And I'm going to stay right here until I'm told it out for foremost. Well, you better quit getting me riled up. Else they'll be toting you out of here sooner than you expect. I'm so tired of you, I don't know what to do. God, I hate skinny women. <laughs> A little awed by this new deal, yet he settled out of the back door and slammed her back in after him. He did not say where he had gone, but she knew all too well. She knew he would not return until nearly daybreak. Her work over, she went to bed. But not to sleep at once. She lay awake and gazed upon the debris that cluttered their matrimonial trail. Not an image left standing along the way. Anything like flowers had long ago been drowned in the salty streams that had been pressed from her heart. Praise from her heart. Her tears. Her tears. Her sweat. Her sweat. She had brought love to the youth, and he had brought a longing after the flesh. Two months after the wedding, he had given her the first little beat. She was so young and so so young, so strong. But now she thought of her naughty muscle limbs, her harsh knuckly thumbs, and drew herself up into an happy little ball. So she crawled in the middle of her big feathered bed. Too late now for hope. Too late now to hope for love. Too late now to hope for love. Too late now to But not her little home. She had built it for her old days. 
and planted one by one the trees and flowers there. It was lovely. 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 So, before she went to sleep, she found herself saying aloud. Oh well, whatever goes over the devil's back has got to come under his belly. Sometime or other, Sykes, like everybody else, is going to reap his soul. Amen. So, she went to sleep and she slept until he announced his presence in bed. By kicking her feet and rudely snatching the covers away. People getting ready for Joe Clark's porch. Chain to him. People talking. Ain't nothing but good times on Joe Clark's porch. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> it was a hot, hot day near the end of July. The village men true came listening. What's that mean? What, what happened? We up? Nah. Even conversation had collapsed under the heat. Here come Thelia Jones, Jim Jerton's merchant said as a shaggy pony came round the bend in the road toward him. <laughs> heat with a buckboard clean, crisp laundry. Yep. Hot or cold, rain or shine. Just as regular as the weeks came rolling around. Delia always fetched them on Saturday. She better as you want to eat. Shot Jones ain't worth the shot. Powder would take the killer. Not her, he ain't. Ain't that the truth, man? I tell you, she was a pretty little trick, too. I tell you, I may have if he ain't beat me to it. Ain't that the truth, Joe? How you do, Delia? Too much knocking will ruin any woman. He done beat her enough to kill three women, let alone change their looks. But well, I can socks can't stomach that big, fat, greasy mama he laying around with just gets me. Uh, what's the child name? Uh, uh, Bertha? Yeah, that's it. Because she's fat. That's how come. He always been like a fat woman. Did I tell you about when you were coming around my wife with a pocket full of pecans and it has a price? <laughs> to be alone now. He ain't fit to carry guts to a bed. Joe Clark spoke for the first time. <laughs> Tain't no law on earth that can make a man be decent if it ain't him. <laughs> now there's plenty of men to take a wife like they are drawing a sugar cane. They round juicy and sweet when they get it. Then they squeeze and grind and squeeze and grind till they bring out every drop of pleasure that's in the mouth. And when they satisfy that they run dry, what would they say, Joe? What they say? If they treats them just like a cane, she would throw them away. Now they knows why they do it when they say it. And they hate the sauce for it, right? But they keep on hanging after her till she's empty. And the cane's you and in the way. Ha! Well, we ought to take Sight Jones and that stray woman of his know how down to the lake and put a raw hide to it till they can't say, Lord and mercy. We ought to kill him. A grunt of approval went around the porch. Mm hmm. But the heat was melting their civic virtue. Elijah Moses, begin to bait on Joe. Come on, man. Come on, bring out that watermelon. Slice it up for your customers. We all out here suffering underneath the heat. Y'all give me 20 cents and you can slice away. 20 cents? I'll give you a nickel. You're a cheap sucker, man. Get out of here. All the money was quickly subscribed and a huge melon brought forth. At that moment, Sykes and Bertha arrived. And the term of silence fell on the porch. And the melon was put away. Delia drove past on her way home to Sykes. Was ordering magnificently for Bertha. It pleased him for Delia to see this. Give her two bottles of strawberry soda water, <laughs> one quarter ground parts feed, <laughs> and a block of chewing gum. <laughs> With all this, they left the store. Sykes reminding Bertha that this was his town, and she could have it if she wanted it. Guess they must be cleaning out the town when she left. She don't look like a thing but a hunk of liver with hair on it. <laughs> <laughs> but she sure can squall, though. She just opened up her mouth to the last knot to say, ah, hee hee ah, hee hee Sex, oh, sweats. Bertha had been in town three months now. And Sykes was still paying her room rent at Della Lewis. Oh. The only house in town that was taking her in. Delia avoided the villagers as well as the village men and women as the efforts of her being blind and being deaf. But Bertha nullified this to a degree by coming to Delia's house to call Sykes out to her at the gate. Hey, sure you can have that little old house. 
As soon as I get that woman out of there, you can get anything you want. This town is mine, and you sure can have it. You can have anything you want. The sun had burned July to August, and the heat came streaming down like a million hot arrows, smiling all living things upon the earth. Grass withered, leaves turned brown, and snakes went blind and shut. Many dogs went mad. Dog days. Sweat, oh, sweat. One day, Delia came home and saw Sykes there before her. She noticed the soapbox next to the stairs, but didn't pay any particular attention to it. Hey, Delia, looking at that box, I done brung you something. When she saw what it had.
came in from the yard and decided to address that old snake box. What's the matter, old Satan? Ain't picking up your rat? Complete silence. Perhaps he threat to go to white folks at frightened sites. Perhaps he was sorry. So she decided she would not bring the hamper out. She would go in there and do the sort. So she picked up the lamp and went in. The room was small, and the eyes stood hard by the white iron bed. That I that had now knew that she 